Hi friends, today my topic is how to set a VS Code Visual Studio Code in your system. So uh, let's go on to Trailhead first. After that, check this one. So uh, download and install the latest version of Visual Studio Code. So uh, we can go through this link. Otherwise, you can type directly over here like that. Yes, code. So we can directly uh, type over here and click on that link. And uh, this one is uh, option is available. Download. Click on that download. So these are available. This is a Windows available for the window, and this is a Mac operating system. So first we have to uh, download for the window, Windows 7, 8 because I'm using the window operating system. So I have downloaded this one. So this is a 73 MB total size of this uh, software and uh, go to above one, this one also download the Salesforce CLI right after that let me check uh, this is the link of the CLI right so we can download of this one as well uh, otherwise you can also type over here on the google so uh, we can directly uh, go to that link and download for the cg4 this is a mac os uh, this is a window this is a linux so i'm using the window so that's why i'm using so download of this one this is also downloaded and uh, uh there's a one more feature oh, there's a one more point uh, some feature in salesforce uh, uh, salesforce extension for vs code depends upon means it means we need to uh, install the uh, java version means jdk jdk uh, 8 or uh, or version 11 so we need to install first the jdk so there is a function jdk this one and i have to download it um, so go to this one right here yeah this is a 140 mb actually so let me check my command prompt yes of a version java is not available under this one so first we need to install the java after that install the visual studio code and after that install the salesforce cli It's taking too much time actually. So, uh, this uh, CTK is uh, downloaded. Go to the download and uh, First of all, install this shady here. Uh, the version is 11.0.1.14. Click on next. close and uh, first of all set up your path go to the profile java jdk and this is the win so first of all means we will reset the path go to the setting 
yeah environmental variable this is the environmental variable click on advance and after that click on environmental variable and after that here is a path and double click on this one and add text this one and type this one then click ok and also here java hyphen home variable value is we have set up this one Our JDBK is installed. So let first of all check this one JDK. JDK is successfully installed. Okay, thank you. And after that, we have to go to your download and install vs code visual force studio click on agree next and oh uh, do not create start menu folder no okay uh we have to create a desktop icon so if you want to create icon on the desktop so that's why click on this one and check also this one as well and install this one And this is also installed. After that, go to the CLI. So we need to install of the CLI command line interface because uh, this is installed. It will take some time to install it.
so uh, this CLI is successfully installed and uh, go to your command palette and uh, press SF uh, we can check the version Okay, this is a CLI version and the uh, 16 point note 16.14 okay so successfully installed our uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, there is some extension here so first we need to install Salesforce extension pack this is already installed it okay because previously I have installed this one so uh, this is already installed and there is some extension like that a uh, very useful extension whenever you are uh, use this uh, whenever you are use the Visual Studio Code so this extension is very useful like that uh, Apex PMD so with the help of Apex PMD you can find out the PMD error and uh, this is the indent in uh, intent rainbow this is very useful because uh, we can find out the line space or something else indentation with the help of indentation and uh, uh, this is a prettier prettier also very useful the code uh, uh, it looks like a beauty fact means uh, we can uh, formatting of that code with the help of this one and uh, this is the uh, indicator uh, basically used for the uh, line of this one basically represent this one so indicator we are using for this one and uh, so and so these extension is already installed in my system uh, okay and uh, so you can install it first uh, first of all you have to download it and install the visual studio codes and uh, after that uh, create your uh, project so we can press Ctrl V and uh, there is mentioned create project with manifest. Click on this one. Please wait because it's the first time it takes some time to load it. Type S F T X. So after that, uh, open your command palette. So with the help of Control P, so uh, command palette will be open and type S F T X. So we will be create your new project. <laughs> and uh, so and i have also created new project on the desktop so this project has been created and uh, this is also created here and uh, we can link your org sftx Yeah, it's 
Cama. Otherwise, you can directly click over here. Uh, first time it will take time after that you have to connect your org it will not take any much more time so this is the name so this name will be represent over here so it will be directly re-login your page so you can uh, log in this uh, your salesforce credential and uh, uh, it will be uh, means so or your org will be connected successfully with the trail fair, trail hat uh, sorry uh, with the visual studio code so uh, today is uh, you know for this one today and uh, uh, okay thank you very much guys so please support me and subscribe my channel thank you very much have a wonderful day bye bye